In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the trig function values for 30 degrees. So we can do it by memorizing a special triangle. So here's the triangle. So it looks like this. And this here is 90 degrees. This is 60 degrees. And this is 30 degrees. Okay? And this will be 1, 2, 3, and you put a square root. So 1, 2, 3, put a square root. 1, 2, 3, put a square root. So using this, and so ka toa, we can find all of the trig function values for 30 degrees. Okay, so let's do sine first. So sine of 30 degrees. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So it's opposite of 30 degrees. So opposite of 30, you see, is 1, okay? So it's opposite, so it's 1, it's opposite of 30, and then hypotenuse is the 1 over here, so 2. Boom. Now we can find the reciprocal function. So the reciprocal of sine is the one that starts with the other letter. That's how I memorize it. So it's cosecant of 30 degrees. And so if you flip 1 half, you just get 2 over 1, which is the same thing as 2. Let's do cosine now. Cosine of 30 degrees. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent here is uh, 1. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> wrong angle. We're looking at 30. So the adjacent to 30 is square root of 3. Easy to mess up, right? We're focusing on 30. So adjacent to 30 is this one over the hypotenuse, which is 2. And now we can find the reciprocal of cosine, which is secant. It's the one that starts with the other letter. And so you just flip it. So it would be 2 over the square root of 3. And now we can do tangent of 30 degrees. So tangent of 30, so OA, so opposite over adjacent. So opposite from, from the 30 degrees. So 1. And then adjacent would be square root of 3. And then cotangent of 30 degrees just requires that we flip it. So if you flip 1 over the square root of 3, you just get the square root of 3. And so that's how you find the trig function values for 30 degrees. I hope this video has been helpful.